Next we're going to assess our uh, toe injuries. Uh, the first one that we're going to have is called the uh, valgus stress test, VAL. For, for this one, what we're going to do is the patient's going to be sitting with their um, leg uh, or foot off the edge of the table. Um, and then we're going to grasp, uh, uh, the, this is for uh, hinge joints, so, uh, so we're going we're gonna to use the big toe for this demonstration. So we're going to stabilize the uh, proximal phalanx of the uh, great toe or first phalanx and then we're, then we're going to also grab the uh, distal phalanx with our two fingers. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to apply a valgus force so I'm pushing the distal uh, phalanx uh, laterally um, stressing the uh, medial uh, side of the uh, interphalangeal joint. This is assessing the medial collateral ligament at the um, interphalangeal joint of the great toe. Um, I can also do a varus stress test. Uh, same thing, I, I want to stabilize uh, one end of the, the joint just uh, proximal to the uh, joint that I'm testing. And then I'm going to also grab the distal phalanx uh, and then I'm going to pull that medially uh, towards the center, thus putting stress on the um, lateral collateral ligament. Um, and you're feeling for any end feel or uh, pain for that, or laxity, uh, indicating a positive sprain for that uh, uh, lateral collateral ligament. Uh, next, we, we're going to be testing for some fractures. Uh, the first special test that we're going to have is called the TAP test. Um, or a percussion test, and all you're going to do is just uh, a toe that you suspect a fracture, you're just going to tap the tip of it uh, like so uh, for fra positive pain or uh, crepitus for fracture. Uh, we're also going to do an axial loading um, or compression test, and for this one, we're going to take uh, the long bones and just uh, pull longitudinally uh, in this direction. Again, indicating uh, any pain or um, uh, crepitus or uh, deformity that you feel over there is an indication for a fracture. And then the last one is going to be for fractures uh, that we can do for the toes is going to be our uh, tuning fork. And then for that, we would take our uh, tuning fork and then stick our tuning fork over uh, the long bone uh, that we want to uh, um, assess. Uh, for again, it would uh, cause pain over the bone, uh, over the fracture site. That's